All right, we are back. Um, kind of give a quick update. John Morant, as we've just seen, is allegedly, allegedly, was seen holding a gun on IG Live uh, yesterday, as we're seeing here in this video. Uh, John Morant is uh, dancing with his buddy in a car, and not great. Let's see if we can pause it on the exact moment. Comes up here soon. Let's see if we can find this. There it is. That is Jaw with the gun. There you go. So, let's just uh, recap this. So, John Morant uh, was suspended uh, during the regular season for. Uh, allegedly having a gun inside of a strip club. And this is after a series of events that happened this season, including uh, Ja beating up, allegedly jumping, and his friends jumping, a 17-year-old kid at a rec center or something. And then, allegedly, following someone around, his, having his friends follow somebody around, and point lasers at them like they were guns on the laser, but it was laser pointers or some shit. So he got suspended or taken away from the team, and it was conduct detrimental to the team. So that really throws their whole fucking season off. He comes back, they go to the playoffs, and they lose as the two seed in the first round to the Lakers. And now, not even a, two, what two weeks, three weeks later, He's back on IG with a gun in his hand. Uh, yes, it's the off season, but you would think that after all the turmoil of the season, after having said all the right things, saying, hey, my actions basically screwed up the season essentially because, I mean, they, they were a two seed. And as much as, yeah, maybe the Lakers were just a better team and it was a really unfortunate first-round matchup for them, uh, at the same time, Ja... Uh, really kind of threw off their season and he was really a big problem and big reason for them uh, having dealt with what they had to deal with. So at the end of the day, uh, this kid's got to get some help, man. He's got to get uh, better people around him. Whoever this clown is who was IG living this and posting this, you're a dick, you're an asshole. Uh, you really shouldn't have done that. You just screwed Jaw. You're one of your good friends. Just got absolutely screwed by this because you thought it was cool to post a video of you and him dancing and he's holding a gun. You not being there to tell him something. You not being there to say, hey, dude, uh, maybe not the best idea after the season, after you just got suspended, to have a gun on you while I'm IG live. You're a shit friend. Uh, all the people around him are shit friends. Ja is uh, a dumbass for doing this. Listen, man, you can own a gun. That's fine. Own a gun. It's fucking... I don't agree with it. Like, I wouldn't own a gun because I'm not putting myself in that danger. I'm not putting myself at that risk. But if you feel like you need it, even though you could fucking hire bodyguards and they could have the gun and they could own it and they'd be there to protect you... Uh, but if you feel like you need it, whatever, man. I'm not going to fucking fringe on your rights. But you just have to have a fucking better sense of your surroundings, man. Like, you are a public figure. You are somebody who a team is investing hundreds of millions of dollars in. Not only teams... But sponsors, Nike, Powerade, all these fucking sponsors that you almost lost and I think did lose because of this shit see you, not one, not learning your lesson and showing that you're stubborn, showing that you don't care, showing that you're uh, immature, ignorant, uh, just, just the fact of reoffending alone is bad enough. Let alone doing something like this again, waving a gun around recklessly, probably going to go to a fucking strip club, have the same fucking gun. You're just a piece of shit, dude. Like, grow up. All right, man, we get it. You're a star. You're in the public eye. Uh, it's fucking hard. Whatever. It's not that hard. Dude, there's how many hundred players in the NBA? You're the only one who's constantly seen on fucking Instagram holding a gun. All right. And not only that, you're also one of the biggest stars in the league. And how 
LeBron's been in the league 20 years. 20 fucking years. The only thing I've ever seen about LeBron that was ever bad was he was speeding on a highway one time in his fucking car. He was going 100 miles an hour in a fucking car. Okay. That's about the only thing that LeBron's ever been through. And that was when he was like 20 fucking two years old. Okay. You've fucking made your mistake. All right. We can all accept the fact that you made a mistake. You fucked up. And it could have been a nice redemption story. It could have been a beautiful, hey, man, like I fucked up, but uh, I learned from it. You come back next year bigger, better than ever. Uh, you lost out on $40 million because you didn't make all NBA this year because you were in large part because you were suspended. And then this is your response. Your response isn't putting your head down, putting the work in, getting your body right, working out with teammates, working on your game. Uh, it doesn't even have to be that. It just has to be stay low for a bit, man. Take, go up to all your friends and say, hey, man, uh, can we just like cool it with IG lives and not post to social media and not let people know where we're going and just kind of keep it on the down low, man. Like just for me, just for this one off season, just for a little while, can we just keep our heads down, keep our heads clean? And uh, no, no, that's not what happens. Uh, ja, man, uh, you're one of the most spectacularly fun players to watch in the league. You have incredible playmaking ability you are one of the freakiest athletes we've seen you have a natural instinct and feel for the game i think generally speaking you're a very intelligent player um seems like you had a good upbringing your dad was at all your games and t morant remember when him and carl anthony towns his dad were at the games it seems like you have a support system it seems like you have people around you who i would hope would uh tell you to get your shit together and i think i i've seen um, articles about your dad saying that you need to get your shit together. So you clearly have that support system. You clearly have people around you who care about you. You just got to make better decisions, man. Uh, it's really on you at this point. Um, you can blame his, his friend for doing all this, and I do blame his friend in some part, but it's on job for talking to him and letting him know. He sees him on IG Live. He sees him recording him. He says, you know, it would be hilarious if I just fucking hold a gun up in the air. And this came after uh, Desmond Bain was seen with Mikel Bridges and fucking oh, Grizzlies fans were feeling good. And now, now we have to deal with, and I'm not a Grizzlies fan, but now they have to deal with uh, John Morant once again, making himself a goddamn clown. So, there you go. Ja Morant. Uh, seen on IG live with a gun video reaction. So uh, let me know what you think. Let me know uh, what the Grizzlies should do, what Josh should do, uh, what you would do, um, and just overall what you think of this whole situation. So peace.